So how is it going? Dank Division, Dank Dan here, and yeah, the gameplay for the first mission in Modern Warfare 3, of course, dropped today, and there's plenty to talk about, and we're going to be focusing specifically just on this gameplay. We're not going to focus on what we're going to be seeing tomorrow. That'll get its own video, as well as anything else discussed. We're mainly focusing on this particular mission. Now, this mission, of course, is called Operation 627, and we're going to get back to that exact number in a moment. And let's face it, we never thought we'd see this map again after we watched it get nuked into oblivion, or at least we thought, Verdansk is the setting for this first mission, more specifically, the Gulag. Why am I calling it the Gulag? Well. Back in the old days, there was a mission on Modern Warfare 2, and that'll play key into how this mission ends to discuss it. So what we have here is that this mission opens up in October of 2023, where you have a private military group of elite precision going in and are going to extract a high value target from within the prison itself. The prison itself is being held by the Coney group. The same group that is supposed to be under the direct command of Makarov. Now automatically that begs a lot of questions. Why? Because Makarov was who everyone thinks is lying in the gulag. That's who's supposed to be lying in the prison. But uh, I don't believe that's who's lying in the prison. But I will get back to that. More importantly, let's talk about some of the things we see. Some of the key things we see are certain guns right off the bat. Now what do I exactly mean by certain guns? Oh, I don't know. You have it that we see guns from both Modern Warfare 2 as well as new guns we've never seen. Some of the old ones of course being, you know, the M4, the EBR-14, the Bryson 800, you see the cast off 762 all over the place along with the 74U. Then we have the Dracor 556, the MTZ 556, then you have the Scorpion Evo 3, which is one of the key weapons used here. Then a personal favorite of mine, the G36, as well as we've seen footage of the Glock 21. So what else do we see in this little beauty? We end up seeing that the graphics haven't really changed all that much aside from the lighting, which makes it look absolutely beautiful. But let's talk about how exactly is this going to work? Who is behind that wall? Who's behind that door? Well, the name of the mission is Operation 627. Some of you haven't played the older CODs, and it shows. So I'm going to purposely play this cutscene, and I'm going to tag it to another cutscene. And then I'm going to explain myself. For those of you who don't know what you're looking at right now, that's the original Modern Warfare 2, or at least the remastered version. In that story, in that timeline, Prisoner 627, the very name of this same mission, held in the same gulag, the same layout, this mission is pretty much a copy and paste of the gulag from Modern Warfare 2, the prisoner in question ends up being Captain Price. And if you don't believe me, take a look at Barry Sloan's Twitter. The same man who plays Captain Price now has his name with an in parentheses 627. It is all shaping up that history doth repeat itself. Know your history or be doomed to repeat it. Now, if you want to tell me that it's all a coincidence that we end up having Captain Price just happen to be Prisoner 627, you have all these guys are running in to save this particular prisoner, and if you look at the look of the prison of the people trying to save the prisoner, and then you look at Soap's skin with the pre-order, you cannot tell me that this is a coincidence. But more importantly, I want to hear your thoughts down below. What were your thoughts from watching? the gameplay. Did you like it visually? Did you like the audio? Did you enjoy the music? I mean, that's something that is always a key thing in Call of Duty. The music is always a key factor 
but I'd like to hear your thoughts. So with that being said, if you enjoyed watching this video, fuck. Get them to click that subscribe button, Dick. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What did the numbers mean, Dick? We're wasting valuable time.